Hey guys, it's Thursday, so we're taking a look at a load of mods which were released for Minecraft 1.16.5 on both Forge and Fabric. If you like the look of any of these mods, then you can find the link to download them in the description below. After the video, you can check out my channel too if you'd like, as we've covered hundreds of mods so far. The first mod I'm going to mention is my own, and it's called Stumble Upon Campsite. With it installed, you'll find campsites spawning throughout your world, with there being around 15 different styles currently. Some of them will have campers, who are a hostile mob who don't want you to get too close. At these camps, you'll find a chest containing loot, as well as some other blocks. If you find some meat being cooked over a campfire, make sure to collect this too, as you'll receive cooked meat back. Dead Guy's Pig History adds a new mob, which are the Porklands. You can find them naturally spawning in your world in locations like barns, or you can summon them instead using the new revival blocks and some honey. Porklands have different classes, such as beekeepers, archaeologists, <coughs> cheesemakers, and farmers, and each of them have some <coughs> different trades. For currency, they accept rubies, which can be attained <coughs> through trading or by finding them in some structures. There's also new decorative clay pots new styles of paintings, and you can give the Porklands different classes. If you're planning on creating YouTube videos or Twitch streams, then you might be interested in the Extra Player Render mod. It will render your character into the corner of your screen, matching all the animations you do. By holding down Alt and pressing P, you can open the menu where you can rotate, scale, and move the model to a location and setting of your choosing. The Brawlhalla mod will add new weapons to Minecraft which are based around the Brawlhalla game. You'll find items like the Grapple Hammer, Scythe, Spear and Lance which are all quite expensive to craft. The new Sidekick mob will also spawn. Portable Dimensions will add some new craftable items, which when used will teleport you between the Overworld, Nether and End Dimensions. They have multiple uses and the recipes aren't too expensive either. Each one will have a teleport point that can be changed, and that's where you'll always jump to. When teleporting to the end, be careful because you might just spawn into the void. Ore pack starts out by adding some new ores, which are copper, amethyst, onyx, and bauxite. Copper and onyx are used in some new armor and tools, with onyx being slightly worse than diamond, and copper being a little more worse than iron. Amethyst can only be used in the creation of some tools, which are better than some of their iron equivalents, whereas bauxite is smelted into aluminum, which is used to create the new multi-tool, which can break different types of blocks. Vanilla block variants add some new decorative blocks which are missing from the game. There's new walls made from stone, prismarine, polished diorite, granite, and andesite. For cracked polished blackstone, you'll find stairs, slabs, and walls. There's also some stairs and slabs for both chiseled quartz and quartz bricks, as well as a few other minor blocks. Rising of the Zombie Pig allows you to feed rotten flesh to pigs. When you do that, there'll be a chance to spawn one of the original zombie pigmen. This next mod will cause the burnt forest biome to start spawning in your world, which features some new burnt blocks, with destroyed structures also spawning in the biome which will often contain a chest of loot. The new Ember Armor is placed between Iron and Diamond when it comes to stats. Chipped is a huge mod adding over 2,000 new building blocks to the game. These range massively in style, with there being new types of glass, bricks, wools, carpets, and more, so you'll never run out of new blocks to build with. I like how you create all new blocks too, as there are six new workstations which look great and are used to constantly transform blocks into different variations. Gilding adds a new mechanic where you can increase the level of your enchantments past their maximum limits. By placing a cauldron above a heat source and a gold block into the cauldron, you can create molten gold. You can then dip any items that are enchanted into the gold which will consume the liquid and also increase the levels of your enchantments by one level. You can only dip each item in three times, so you could turn a Smite 5 sword into a Smite 8 instead. Nature Expansion adds over 20 new flowers, which can be found in all dimensions. In the nether, you'll find Crimson, Warped and Soul Roses, whereas in the end, there's Chorus Grass and Chorus Flowers. In the overworld, you'll find new colorful orchids, tulips, and dandelions. 
In dark forests, you might come across a new food, which is the yucca, which can be baked and turned into a new bread. Now you can play with Thor's hammer, which has an attack damage value of 11. When you left click while holding the hammer, you'll do a melee attack and summon lightning. If you press right click, then you'll fire a strong projectile and summon lightning again. Another new weapon comes with Cold's Claws, which have a version for each material tier, with Netherite Claws dealing 8 attack damage. Although a new mechanic comes with digging, if you dig into grass blocks you can sift through the dirt to find some treasure, with the items determined by the tier of your claws, as well as a fortune enchantment. Claws can also act as shears, allowing you to collect wool from sheep. Nautilium aims to make Nautilus shells more useful. Now they can be turned into Nautilium ingots, which in turn are used in a new set of armor, which has high enchantability and the same defenses as iron. There's also two new music discs, as well as a Nautilium hook sword, which deals the same amount of damage as an iron sword. Realistic baking will change how you create bread. Now you can place wheat inside a crafting table to get flour, which is combined with a bucket of water to create dough. You can then place the dough inside a furnace to turn it into bread, which is a little more realistic overall. Just Enough Juices adds some new drinkable items, which are quite similar to potions, except each of them have crafting recipes. Each one requires two buckets of milk, a glass bottle, sugar, and some sort of food item. When consumed, they'll each give different effects, such as regeneration, slow falling, night vision, and speed for a short amount of time. Beholder's Bookshelves adds new bookshelves, which are made out of quartz, stone bricks, and purple blocks, which might be useful in some builds. It relies on the bookshelving mod, which also adds new bookshelves made from all the different wood types. Variants aims to add lots of new designs to already existing blocks, although currently it only changes furnaces. Right now, there's over 100 new styles of furnaces, and it's a good idea to use roughly enough items so that you can see all the recipes. Guardians Galore allows you to summon mobs who can help with defending bases. Using one of the four new anchor stones, you can place bowls of food on top to spawn different guardians. Anchor stones are linked to guardians, causing them to teleport back if they wander too far, and you can configure the protective range of guardians. All the guardians have their own sounds and animations, and some of the different breeds include foxes, dragons, wolves, and ravens. Incantation will add 10 new enchantments and 3 curses to your world. Some enchantments include the Bane of Swines, which increases weapon damage to pigs, piglins, and hoglins. Forging Touch will smelt blocks automatically, such as turning ores into ingots or sand into glass. Magnetic will increase the range at which you can pick up experience orbs and items off the ground. One of the curses I like is the Curse of the Thunders, which has a chance of spawning a lightning strike each time the player takes damage. Simpler Harvest is a small mod which allows right-click harvesting. When a crop is fully grown, you can simply right-click to harvest it, while automatically replanting any seeds. Fireplace mode will remove the save and quit buttons unless you're next to a campfire, which I think is a nice feature which would go great in any RPG packs. You can now play as a fox in Origins. Some of the pros are that you won't take fall damage, you'll be smaller in size, and have increased movement speed. By activating your main ability, you'll do a pounce which can increase damage, whereas your secondary ability will open the fox pouch, a small inventory where you can store extra items. Although you'll become exhausted faster, meaning you have to eat more food, you can't use a shield properly, and you have less health overall. The Poltergeist is a complex origin. You can phase through blocks and possess them to gain special powers. As a poltergeist isn't a living entity, you can't equip armor or tools. Instead, you gain the properties of the blocks that you possess. Some blocks that you possess will have special abilities, like having a portable crafting table, teleporting items within a radius to you, and giving you arrows. That's the end of this week's list. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more. 
Remember to check out the channel too, as we've covered hundreds more mods for the latest version of Minecraft.